Hey everybody, this is Bronco again, and I'm recording a second video on how to fix the Battlefield Bad Company 2 VC8 runtime error fix. Uh, a lot of people said they couldn't understand it the first time, so I'm going to do it again. This time I have the all the stuff step by step. Okay, what you're going to do first, you're going to put your Battlefield Bad Company 2 DVD in the drive. I can't find my DVD because I copied it on my computer and I tend to lose my DVDs, but I have the Left 4 Dead 2 DVD in the drive, which will serve the same purpose. It's the same steps. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up DVD Decryptor. Again, all the links to everything is in the description. DVD Decryptor is a free program that will rip the disk to an ISO. So what you're going to want to do is go to Mode, ISO, Read. That will read the ISO from the disk. You're going to click Decrypt, or tell it where you want to put it. Put it on the desktop, save, and then click decrypt. It's going to decrypt that into an ISO, and we will come back when it's done. Okay, we're done decrypting, and you'll have this nice little Battlefield Bad Company 2.iso on your hard drive. You can go ahead and close DVD decryptor, and now you want to install WinRare, which will be able to extract the ISO file to a folder. So you want to right click on your ISO and you'll have all these new menus. What you're going to do is click the extract to and then that's that'll be the name of your folder. So you're going to click that and we'll come back when it's done extracting. Okay, now you'll have this little folder which will be your Battlefield Bad Company 2 folder. So now I'm going to go get my Battlefield Bad Company 2 folder and I'll show you the rest of the steps. Okay, we're back. And now I have my Battlefield Bad Company 2 image extracted to a folder. It should look something like this. Now you're going to want to swap out the vcredist.msi package with the one that's in here. You'll find that in redistributable, x86. It'll be right there. So you're going to want to copy this one, the link's in the description to download it. Copy this one over top of this one, and it will work because this is not the DVD. You should have ejected your DVD a long time ago. This is the folder that you extracted to. So we're going to move and replace, and the setup should work just fine. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment, and I will see you guys next time.